Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Captain Forest Falcon, and we are somewhere in the caves beneath the Tenda Village. And guess what we ran into? Yep, it's the sixth Your Sanctuary location. My gosh, we're already at number six, and there's there's only going to be one more of these after this, so... What do you say? Uh, let me just check. Things seem okay, except maybe Pooh could use a bit more PP. Um... Do I have anything that could recover that for you, Pooh? Let me see. Oh, we do have some PSI Caramel. I may as well use that now as opposed to just have you completely run out on me during the middle of the fight. Because that would just suck flat out. Um, anything here? Oh, I don't know why you're carrying the death ray of all things. Maybe I should give that to Jeff if he can take it. Ah, uh, Jeff. He, ev that's the biggest problem with Earthbound. Always way too much stuff to carry. Way, way, way too much stuff. But anyway, I think we should just go and just wing this. Let's go see how this goes. You finally got here. This is the seventh your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Okay, so I got my numbers wrong. It's seven, not six. I don't know, I, it's just, you get so used to there being seven of everything that you just make it an assumption. It's weird when you have a situation where you have six, or when you have eight of something instead of seven. Well, it's not that big and weird of a difference. It's still easy to get confused, though. Anyway, I have a feeling that this guy is going to be a bit tricky for me. I just have that feeling. I don't want to take the chance with Paula, because I'm almost certain that this guy is going to have a... Uh, a PSI shield. You'll usually find that it that a lot of later bosses end up getting those PSI shields, so you don't want to just throw them out right away. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's try using this. We never use that kind of shield. I know it's a waste of PP, but still, let's just try it out for the heck of it. Nice power shield. Uh, that might not actually be that useful because I think that this guy, uh, I think he tends to use more of. Uh, other kinds of attacks. Oh yeah, baby! Wait! Oh my gosh! But wait, his shield disappeared, didn't it? I'm pretty sure I saw that, but still, that's awesome that it deflected, but still. Okay, Ness, no, we can't have you just, um... No, no, we need to heal up Paula. Heal up Paula because she's gonna be our main damage dealer. As usual. Jeff, I think it's safe to say that you can break out the bazooka. Now we have nothing to hold back. No reason to hold back now. Let's just hammer this. Oh, I have, don't have enough for that. But... Mm. Damn it, it's, there's no good combos to use for 15 PP. You could use 16 to use that. But, and you could use... 7 or 9 for 16, but there's nothing good for 16. Although we could, let's just try it. Oh yeah, Freeze is gonna just kill this guy right out. Oh baby, that is freaking awesome. I swear, I swear, the battle that I did as a practice on a practice for this, I swear that he was kicking my ass with those electrical shocks, but... Good fortune struck me this time, and he actually just had it rebound right onto him. And that is a thing of beauty. Yeah, you know what, let's just use Freeze again, because Freeze seems to work magic against this guy. Heh <laughs> Magic, that's a stupid pun as there ever was one, but he, sh he should be almost dead at this point. Okay, maybe it's too soon to get excited, but I think we've got him. But just to be safe, I don't want Jeff to go and die on me, so let's heal him all the way back up. But man, this battle is going really, really well right now. I'm I'm very happy about this. Pooh, you can't do anything, so you're just going to have to bash. This should finish him off, I think. Oh my gosh, this guy has a huge amount of HP, but... I mean, we were using all our powerful attacks there, but he still was holding on there. Holding on to the bitter end. My gosh. Nessidus Reds gained 65,410 experience each. Nessus levels now 61. Offense 101. Look one of all. Maximum HP 1 by maximum HP 1 by 2. And Ness realized the power of PSI Flash Gamma. 
Paul's level's now 59. Offense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP went up by one. Maximum PP went up by one. Jeff's level's now 57. Guess went up by one. Maximum HP went up by three. Whose level's now 57? Maximum HP went up by three. Maximum PP went up by one. That is amazing. Everyone gets a level up. Oh, man. Now, I've got to say, I honestly think that the, if I'm right about this, the, this your sanctuary location is one of my favorites. But then again, all of these your sanctuary locations are of my favorites. I can't, but, ugh. Like, everything they do in these atmospheres, it's always just ugh, amazing. It's always so beautiful, so perfect, so fitting. I'm Ness. It's been a long journey. Or a long road getting here. Soon, I'll be... Soon, I'll be... Soon, I'll be... What will happen to us? What's... What's happening? My thoughts are being written out on the wall. Or are they? Ness saw a vision of his father holding him. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Lumen Hall. <sighs> I swear, it, there's just some sort of complete satisfaction at reaching one of these locations. It's, it's just beautiful. And now, as you saw, we actually went down a hole to get into this place. So now we go down a hole to get out of this place. Behold, we are now in a place filled with dinosaurs. Yep, this is it's a it's a really unique area, a really unique part of the game. It's because just to show just how massive this area is, you're just these tiny little ants crawling around through this place while there are these honestly ginormous dinosaurs compared to size to you. Earthquakes happen and geysers shoot up. It's impressive. Let's actually go in, check this fight out, see how this guy turns, this turns out. This is the wet no -saur. He has a ridiculously oversized nose for a dinosaur. It looks way too cute to be here. But here we are. We just came down here and we start beating up this happy little wet no -saur with his adorable puppy-like nose. Look, it looks like he's asking us for a treat. Gosh dang it. Why are we shooting him with heavy bazookas and beating the crap out of him? The question is, who are the real monsters? We just get here and we start beating the crap out of this guy. Maybe he just wanted a friendly chat. Maybe if we just kept away from him, things would be fine. But no, we have to go and beat them into submission. Because that's the kind of kids we are. Decent amount of experience, especially considering that's just one enemy. But yes, seriously, why do we come down here and then just start beating up on poor defenseless dinosaurs? This thing looks kind of interesting. It looks like it it looks like it should be something, but it's not. It's just just something a little different scenery wise. Oh no, I guess I guess there's more than just one of those. This right here is one of those geysers, actually. And each one of these geysers has a different effect, as we'll see right here. This is a blue geyser. What do blue geysers do? Energize. They energize us completely, so. Oh, that is awesome. Full PP, full HP. Love it. And you gotta like. And you gotta like the music here. It's just like. It doesn't say that this place is evil or anything. Like, you get a sensation of just. The 
wild jungles that are down beneath here in the center. <laughs> Closer to the center of the earth, I suppose. And yes, it takes a while to get around in here, as you can see. But I'm gonna try and get a number of the presents that are down here. There's a brain food lunch inside! That'll be helpful. But I believe that this is one of the locations where we will not, as sad as it sounds, we will not be running into Mr. Photoman. Yeah, uh, I think, I guess apparently the only thing that Mr. Photoman can't do is become an ant. He can't become an ant and follow us. It's a sad thing, but it's true. And in case of danger, evacuate here, the boss. Okay, let's just go in here, see who's just dancing around in this little barricade. You're strange, but you smell good, so I'll tell you a secret. Did you feel earthquake a little while ago? You know, we have earthquakes all the time. After the earthquake, the hot springs will erupt. The blue springs are great for recovering health. The red springs are perfect for healing paralysis or drawing out poison. Yeah, so red's hot springs will um, heal status effects. The bird right there says strange words like hello and click beep beep beep. Yeah. Hello, now since you're down, I deposited $74,000 water and dollars into your bank account. Take out what you've done, you should now have blah 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 money. That's a heck of a lot of money. My gosh, I don't make that kind of money. Wait, yes I do. That's how you keep getting this money. Wait, Dad, how are you making all this money? Um, I can't tell you. It's shady business. Shady business, son. Anyway, what do you want? Yeah, record. And I'm not thinking of hitting the hay. I just got into this. I'm not gonna go to... I'm continuing. Yes, I know. No, stop talking. Stop talking to me. Ooh, earthquake. Gotta love those earthquakes, just... Oh no, I'm stuck. No, I'm not stuck now. Oh yeah, okay, so yep, they have pretty much in this area, if you find little alcoves like this, you can just run in there, maybe save, or just check on your party. Talk to the tendas that live there. My gosh, there are a lot of those puppy dog wet no sores around here. Well, guess we have to take them out. Sorry, wet no sore. There's no place for your kite here. You're supposed to be extinct. So we are doing helping you out by extincting you. While you stomp on us with your giant foot. Obviously it's not an actual threat. I think he's just he's just having a good scratch and it feels good, so he's stomping his foot on the ground. And we just so happen to be in his path, so he's accidentally stomping on us, but we're the ones who are the real monsters here. We're the ones that are beating up on this poor thing. And reducing the populations, the surplus population of dinosaurs down here. Which will soon become an endangered species, thanks to Ness and Friends. You can thank Ness and Friends for removing the monstrous dinosaurs, the last remaining dinosaurs on the planet. They went down to the center of the earth and killed them all. It's sad, but it's true. There's a sea pendant inside. Who should we give that to? Well, usually I give everything to Paula, so I don't see a reason to make an exception to that. Let's, uh, what can we get rid of? You know what? This may seem stupid, but I'm just gonna ditch this diamond bed. I mean, we've got over a hundred thousand freaking dollars in the bank, so... Who needs... Who needs money? Who needs to keep useless garbage around that we're not even going to... We're not even gonna be really using it for anything except selling it, so why... Why save it and take it to the bank or somewhere and sell it? Sell it at a store. A rain pendant. Let's see. That increases defense, but... Yeah, it increases defense, but I actually want to just check and see again. What does each of these do? Help, rain pendant. It protects us from freeze attacks, so... What does the C pendant do? Um, it protects you from fire, freeze, and flash attacks. Oh my goodness, that... That is one of the... That has to be one of the best of them out there. You, like, think about this. We have Paula equipped with the sea pendant and with the Franklin badge. She's not going to get hit by anything. She, You know what? We don't even need to heal Paula if we have her equipped with this. In fact, we could probably just have her lead the party on for the rest of the game. The only thing she'd be vulnerable to is getting diamondized or something. Horde of Life. We could trade that for something. Although, I probably... I don't think I'm actually going to... You know what, maybe then again, maybe I will do it. Maybe I will off-screen collect a bunch of horns of life, and then I'll just 
show you guys what you can trade the horns of life for. Because I think there's only like one good thing if you collect a lot of them, but anyway, I should stop talking and cut the rest of this battle. And you know what? Let's let's engage one of these new enemies. We haven't seen fought one of these guys. So these are the Chomposaurs. Ooh, he looks vicious. He looks like a dragon ready to pounce on us. Actually, he's probably also like the other one and just a very puppy, lovey type of creature. And we're just, again, we're just beating the hell out of them because, well, we are from Eagle Land. We, oh my gosh, he has a power shield. I didn't remember about the power shield. That is not going to be nice to deal with. Oh my gosh. It even reflects the heavy bazooka. So yeah, these guys can be a problem, actually. Oh, and I was an idiot, and I didn't have Jeff use his special... Oh my gosh! So much fire. Uh, yeah, we are gonna want to be defended against... We are gonna want to have ourselves nicely protected against fire by... Oh my gosh, uh... This ain't gonna end well. This is gonna end terribly. Unless I can pull off a miracle... Attack! Thank you, Pooh, for the, uh... Actually, Pooh just saved his life there with that smash attack. Oh, Paula. Oh, baby, offense one of us. Through speed, one by Guts, one of us. Two, Vitaly, one by IQ, one by two. Max, one by two. The rocks, PP, went up by nine. And Paula realized the power of PSI Shield Omega. Pooh's level is now 58. Offense one up one. Defense one up two. Luck one up by one. Max, one up by two. Maximum PP, one up by two. And Jeff's level would have gone up if he had not died again. Because that seems to be a common occurrence. Oh, that's kind of cool how ghosts actually look in this in this area. They're just that tiny little white outline. I don't think I've ever seen ghosts in this area. Probably because I wasn't being an idiot like I am now and uh, not bothering to heal or check for anything. So, you know what? We probably should uh, poo -poo bring bring Jeff back. We need Jeff back. There we go. Jeff's good now. Jeff's good. Now we just need to heal everyone back up. But yeah, some of these creatures, they can be pretty hard hitters. They can they have lots of HP, can hit pretty hard physically, but otherwise they're just like normal enemies. And it really helps that you're only taking them on one at a time. Oh, come on! Why are there so many of you? Haha, ha, you got... Oh no, he did get stuck on the tree. Instead, he got stuck on the wall. That... Oh gosh dang it, there's a present up there. And there's a Tenda over there. Well, I've got to fight through these guys now. I want my present. Ness's level's now 62. Offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. Max HP went up by 2. Max and PP went up by 1. And Jeff again died. Oh my gosh. Jeff. Jeff. Why are you the punching bag of this Let's Play? Why do you always seem to get hit the worst of everyone of everyone I mean you died twice to the Chopozors two times in a row and you were at full health <sighs> some things are just how let's plays are going to go some people are just meant to get hit okay well at least that time Jeff got out of there alive but seriously Jeff we're gonna have to do something about uh, keeping you alive because I don't like how you keep on dying all the time uh, okay, we have too much stuff again. Uh, let me see. I could probably... You know what? I have too many of these things. Let's just use it on Pooh. And there we go. There we go. And now we'll use that on Jeff, because he obviously needs more guts if he's... Or maybe we should use... be a jerk and use it on Ness. No, we'll use it on Jeff, because he keeps on dying every time, so... You know what? Maybe he'll die a little less if he has slightly higher guts. Yep, that's definitely how it works. Oh, and look, there's a village down there. But I saw a Tenda somewhere up here. Yes, he's up here in the northern reaches. I bet that one's a red geyser. Oh, did I call it or what? The chubby obnoxious kid from some foreign country said something heartrending, so I'm healing my wounds in the hot spring. Oh, of course. Even Pokey has found his way down here. Oh, is there nothing that will stop that wretched kid from tormenting us everywhere we go? But anyway, 
let's just uh, let's just go over to this village and see how they're doing. Oh, he noticed us. You guys smell really good. Who am I? I'm a tenda. Hey, what are you doing out inside our dinosaur cage? I'm going to open the door and get you out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. Thank you for the tentacroat. Ness's tentacroat was stolen. The awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. Okay, so that's what we needed, that tentacroat that we got some time back. I assume in the tenda village. And now we are in... We are outside that huge dinosaur cage. Yeah. Yeah, we are so... We are safe. We are safe in the outside world. It's so much better be it's so much better on the outside than being in that great awful cage. So much less claustrophobic, less space. Yeah, it's not like this place has got an overpopulation problem or anything. It's so many earthquakes. Anyway, you know what? I think that I'm going to end the episode episode off. Blah blah blah. Use your words right, man. I'm gonna end this episode off right here. We got a lot done. And we finally we're exploring, like, the last reaches of the game. It's exciting. Exciting as hell for me. And now I think... Just shut up. Use your words. Say goodbye. Goodbye.